All right, so we're here with Carter Bell. Carter, uh, you spent the summer playing for Team Canada in the World Championships. Just tell me uh, what that was like. Yeah, you know, playing for your country, it's a whole nother feeling. Uh, it's a feeling that you'll never forget, and uh, it's a lot of pride goes into it. And it was an experience uh, over in Japan that uh, was once in a lifetime, and I was really excited to get the opportunity. Tell me a little bit about playing over in Japan. Uh, what's it like going to a foreign country to play a, a sport outside of your own country? Yeah, it's a different culture over there. Uh, they take baseball very seriously. It's uh, kind of like uh, the football over here in North America. Uh, everybody, everybody watches it. Everybody plays. Everybody comes out and supports the high school teams. Uh, you know, was, they they're real fans over there. Uh, so it was pretty neat to get that experience and uh, play in another country. Forget, did you guys get to play Team USA? Yes, we did. What uh, I, 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 what was the result, and uh, and what was it like seeing some guys you see in the college level, and then see them over on that level? Uh, you know, we I think the final score was nine one. We lost, but it was really cool to play against some guys that I played against uh, in the Pac-10 and you know, other teams. Uh, Garrett Cole was there, uh, Drew Maggi from ASU, a few other guys. So that was kind of neat to see guys that I'd played with and see them over there and see them in the hotel. We were staying in the same hotel, so that was kind of cool. Did you guys kind of see each other and recognize, or was it more of a, you know, i got to stay with my own country and kind of well, give were, them the game face? There were a few guys from Oregon that I recognized and uh, said hi, you know, meet and greet, but that was about it. We kind of stayed to our own and uh, mm -hmm. focused on the tournament. Now, this isn't the first time that you've gotten to play for your country. Uh, tell me a little bit about your background in Team Canada. Uh, well, the first time I played for the national team, I was 17 years old, and we were down in Mex uh, Ixtapa, Mexico, for the World Qualifiers. Uh, we came, we t uh, came in fourth place and uh, qualified for the Worlds in 2008. Uh, was fortunate enough to have a pretty good tournament, and I won top shortstop of the tournament. And you know that was a really cool experience, and first time playing in another country as well. So that was that was really cool, or uh, you know not really in, uh, the U.S. or Canada. So that was cool. And then uh, in 2008, I played in the World Championships, which we hosted in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So that was that was really cool, playing in the world in your home country, home fans. So that was really neat. And, and again, this experience last summer was once in a lifetime. And what's, a, what's the feeling like for you to put on your national jersey, you know, with the maple leaf and the red, and, and know that you're one of the top 20, 25 guys at your level in your, in your country? Uh, to see Canada across your across my chest is, I just get uh, like all giddy inside. Like a, it's like Christmas every time I put it on. So it's a pretty cool feeling, and I'll never forget it. Now, uh, Oregon State's obviously had some guys play for Team USA in the past, but you're the first foreign guy. Uh, there's not too many players that are coming from out of country for for this team. But what do you tell some of the younger guys about maybe playing for your country? I mean, what would you what would your message be to them? I'd say be proud. Uh, Put in the time and effort because everybody's looking at you and they they want you to succeed and you want to do well for your country. So uh, just play with a lot of pride and passion and it'll all fall into place. Now you guys have also been back on campus for a couple weeks since the winter break. Uh, how are things looking for uh, for the start of the 20, 2011 season? You know, I'm really excited the way things are looking. Uh, guys came back in shape, ready to go. Uh, we hit the practice 100% 100, 100 full speed. And uh, guys are improving, and our, pitch, our pitching staff is looking great again. Coach Yeski's doing a great job. Um, every, like everybody's working hard, and I'm excited to actually get going and play some competition. Now you're also a junior. When you hear that, do you just kind of just like step back in second, second? Like, wow! I mean, I was just a freshman yesterday. Yeah, time flies definitely. I uh, I don't feel like a junior as this, like I don't feel that old, but uh, mm -hmm. it's pretty cool to be an older guy on the team, and you know. Uh, give some experience, knowledge to some younger guys and help them out and see them develop and everything. And so, yeah, it's kind of a cool feeling to be an older guy on the team. But it felt like yesterday I just got stepped on campus for the first time. Great. All right, Carter, well, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to talk to us about uh, Oregon State and Team Canada, and good luck with uh, getting ready for the next uh, season. No problem. Thank you.